So hello, um, in this video I decided to simply give you a short behind the scenes look on how I make uh, my microscopy videos and I'd like to simply show you some of the equipment that I use and I'd also like to show you that it's actually a little bit simpler than it might appear uh, because I try to keep uh, everything as straightforward as possible. Um, so first of all, um, when I'm talking into the camera, I'm using a DSLR camera. It's a Canon EOS camera. And uh, I'm also using an external microphone, the one that I have over here. Um, so simply the sound quality is a little bit better. But they usually always move it away uh, right out of the field uh, of view so that, uh, the, that, you don't see, uh, that you don't see it. Okay, but right now we can just leave it in, in, yeah, in front of me because I'm giving a behind the scenes look. Um, and then uh, for actually making, um, for making the, the videos, I'm using a, a mobile phone uh, camera, um, which I mounted uh, to a small uh, tripod. Um, and uh, the advantage of this is, is that I can actually get a macro image of, my, of the slide. So I can move quite closely. Uh, so I move it forward a little bit. I can move quite uh, closely to the slide. Uh, and uh, because there is also a built-in uh, lamp, LED lamp, uh, I'm, this ensures that I have a, re a very, very good illumination. But uh, for the uh, but light is very important, and for this reason, I also have uh, two of these la uh, desk lamps. Uh, they have a flexible um, neck, and this allows me to position uh, the light uh, quite precisely. And it also, yeah, I can. Uh, make sure that the light intensity is, is just right. And then what I'm doing generally is I'm simply preparing the slide directly on the table in front of me, um, camera uh, on a small tripod above it, uh, but in such a way that it does not uh, disturb uh, me when I'm working. I have to make sure that the shadows of my hand are not on the slide when I'm working. Yeah, and then I'm simply uh, I'm pressing record and then I'm simply recording um, yeah, um, what I'm, uh, whatever I'm doing, and then uh, I'm download the the video, and uh, then I'm editing uh, the whole program. Um, I'm not editing the program; then I'm editing the, the the video file in in my software. Okay, um, and for uh, taking pictures under the microscope, I'm of course using uh, my um, Olympus CH40. I have another DSLR camera, full uh, format camera, mounted here on top. Um, and uh, this uh, gives me a very good image quality as well. Um, and uh, then I take out the, the compact flash card, it's less compact flash, and I go to the computer, I download the file again, and I start editing. Um, so that is uh, essentially all I'm doing. And uh, yeah, uh, right now I'm just going to move the camera down a little bit, and I'm going to show you what, uh, what I'm actually going to be doing here. And this is uh, basically how it looks like. And over here I have a, um, a little sample um, with uh, some algae, a little bit undefined what I have here. I don't know what it is exactly. I have to look at it. I had some pond water standing uh, for some time. And uh, then I, of course, I press, uh, I turn on the camera. Um, I start uh, the record button. I have to make sure that the slide is actually centered. I have to make sure it's focused. Um, I pr press the record button. Yeah, I start recording and then I start um, simply preparing the slide. Um, I do not narrate uh, while I am uh, doing that, and the reason is because I do later on a voiceover, okay? Um, because um, I want to concentrate on making the slide first, and then all of the narration uh, will be done separately, and I use a small um, MP3 recorder for doing the narration, and then I use uh, the editing program uh, for combining the sound with the image. Okay, I think I only have one cover glass now. Yeah, and then I pl simply place it on top here. Yeah, and yeah, that's that's it. Um, and then I uh, stop recording. Okay, I stop recording. And then of course, um, everything goes into the microscope. I'm simply gonna pick up the camera again. Okay, so then we have, of course, Turn on the, the, the screen. Yeah, it goes then directly into the camera. It's a little difficult for me now because I have to hold the camera at the same time. I have to um, put it in here. Okay. Yeah. The advantage is is that when it is in focus here on screen, um, on the um, on the screen, then it's also in focus um, through the eyepieces. So the system is a uh, par focal, and uh, that is something that really makes uh, life much easier. Here I am again. Uh, it's a little bit, yeah, the camera is not pointing a little bit too high. Um, but that's basically all, all I'm doing right now. So I try to keep it relatively simple. Um, and the idea is, is also 
to uh, make it in such a way that uh, everything is authentic as possible. Um, so this means I actually do not try to let my filming interfere uh, with uh, my laboratory work too much. I'm now preparing a new specimen sample because the other one did not have anything interesting in it. Um, but what I'm doing right now is a so-called voiceover. So I'm watching uh, my video that I made. I removed the original sound and then I'm simply talking into my little MP3 recorder and then I'm simply narrating what you can see. So this is actually the slide uh, with the water sample and you can see there are many uh, water organisms uh, and also some a lot of unidentified debris. This seems to be a vorticella. Yeah, it's a ciliate. Yeah, so that is basically what I'm doing. I'm simply um, observing my own videos and simply uh, narrating it and I'm, it's not scripted. So this means uh, that I'm simply improvising uh, that and this also gives um, everything a little more natural and a more um, authentic uh, impression. Yes, uh, and uh, there's one thing that I also notice, uh, or that you might notice in the background, there is some uh, slightly bluish uh, gray shadows that is dust on the on the condenser of the microscope, and that means that my microscope has to be cleaned again. Okay, yeah, and uh, what I'm not doing is I'm not showing any change in magnification in the objectives. I think that was a little bit disturbing, and it also keeps uh, the film a little bit shorter if I cut out these sequences. Well, there are also a few other things um, I want to show you. Um, so uh, in these plastic containers, I keep uh, the specimen samples uh, that I still have to observe. This is my little field box. I have some tools in here and some empty plastic containers. And of course, I can close everything so that nothing falls out. This is my trash can. I keep uh, yeah, used micro microscope slides in here. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm going to wash uh, some of them to, to recycle them. But uh, yeah, that's also a lot of work. And last but not least, I think I did not show you yet uh, the voice recorder. I'm using this uh, MP3 recorder that I just mentioned. And um, I use this to record my voice, uh, to do a voiceover um, for some of the scenes uh, that I'm... I'm not directly narrating when I'm filming. Okay, so that's a very practical one as well. Yeah, um, I'm now going to show you a few of the microscopes uh, that I have. You might have already seen some of them in my previous videos. I had to put the microphone here right now. It's a uh, small educational microscope. It's an Olympus uh, CHA microscope. Uh, it's uh, one which is maybe around 30 years old, but it's a very good quality, a stereo microscope. And I call it, this is a Lego microscope. I call it uh, the ELMO2, the experimental Lego microscope. <laughs> um, I keep my, uh, yeah, I need to refocus again. These are uh, the slide boxes uh, uh, where I have my uh, permanent mounts uh, stored. Okay. Um, I have a small book collection here uh, and I need to refocus again. Okay, a book collection is here. Um, yeah, some some alcohol. In here, I've got uh, slides, 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 and more slides. And all the way at the top here, I've got some uh, some chemicals um, and solvents, uh, and I store them up here so that they're not so easily uh, so they cannot be reached very easily. So that's basically it, uh, really. Um, yeah. That's all my microscopy stuff here, and then of course uh, the the things I have on the table. Yeah, and I also keep some uh, some tools in here. Okay, the tweezers and so on. It's it's again a little bit out of focus. Okay, but um, I think uh, you get the idea. This one is a very good one, by the way. Um, this one is uh, a mount uh, for uh, yeah for a microscope uh, for small cameras. This is a really uh, that's a good one. Okay, I can highly recommend that. Yeah, well, uh, this was it. Uh, I hope uh, that it was interesting uh, for you um, again and uh, wish you all the best and uh, happy micro hunting. All the best. Bye bye.